Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth video of my Python Basics tutorial series. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, then go and check them out. The playlist link is in the description. Today we will be learning about if statements in Python. So an if statement is a conditional statement that does something if something proved true. Now what I mean by proved true we will see when we go through some examples. So let's get programming. Just open up idle and then go to file, new file. And then to start off, we'll just have a variable x equals 5 and another variable y equals 5 as well. Now for the if statement. So if we go if x double equals y colon print x equals y. So if we save it and then we run it, x equals y because x is equal to y because 5 is equal to 5. So then we go through and print x equals y. So how do we actually set out this if statement? So first off you obviously want to have this if and you see how it's highlighted in orange. And then we want to have like a condition, so for example x double equals y. By the way this double equals means it's comparing x to y and seeing if they're equal. Whereas with a single equals, a single equals up here just means it's assigning 5 to x, whereas this is checking, uh, it's comparing x to y. And then after, after the condition we want a colon, and then underneath that we want to press tab. If we hit tab, and there we go, and that, that shows that this print statement is part of the if statement. And then we have whatever we want to do. And tabbing in Python is really important. If we did x equals y without the tab, we'd get an error because it's expecting it to be indented like that. It should automatically indent for you as well. So we could also do, if we wanted, we could do if x equals 5 and then it also prints it because x is 5 and it's checking. Does it equal 5? Yes, 5 equals 5. What about x equals 4? Nothing happens because x doesn't equal 4 so it's not going to print this. What we can do now though is we can add an else statement. We can do print, let's just change this to y again, x does not equal y. And then if we change y to 3, or anything that isn't 5, we run it, x does not equal y, because what it's doing is saying if x equals y, let's do this. Does it equal y? No, it doesn't. Let's move on to the else statement. And there we go. x does not equal y. So we set our else statements in the same way as if statements, but you don't need a condition here. Um, you just need a colon and then the content of it needs to be tabbed. It comes underneath the if statement. It just won't work if you have it. You'll, you'll get an error if it's not underneath its if statement. So an else statement is just a conditional statement that does something if a statement, if the if statement above it proved false. So now we also have an elif statement and that goes in between the if and the else. So elif x equals, I don't know, if it equals 5, print x equals Five. x equals 5 because it's what, what it's doing here is saying if x equals y it doesn't so it's going to skip that El, what elif basically means is else if else if x equals 5 which it does print x equals 5 and it's just going to skip the else statement because it's already this is true, so the else statement is just ignored. The elif statement is just set out in the exact same way as an if statement and an else statement if we bring it back there. 
So basically, an elf, elif statement is just a, another conditional statement that does something if the if statement above it proved false and it proves itself true. So now for some challenges for you to do by yourself. Create three if statements that prove true depending on a variable being equal to a number. Create an if and else statement that proves true or false, your choice. And create an if, elif and else statement that proves true or false. So that's all for today guys, make sure to stay tuned for the next tutorial by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss the next episode. Also drop a like if this helped you out, it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions about Python or need some help with any errors, be sure to leave it in the comments section below. I'll be sure to help you out. Any suggestions or feedback would also be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.